Hello, welcome back everybody. It is six o'clock and we've got a one day special for you uh, to bring to you from lovely Pentart, which is fantastic. I've got a whole counter full of gorgeousness here for you, which I'll talk you through. There's just me and diagonally opposite, way over there, a separate postcode away, is the lovely Julia. Hello, Julia. Hello. How are you? Oh, she's up, she's up there in my little box. <laughs> We can see you there, but I can talk to you like this. How are you, dear? I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, there's a two metre. Did you? Was this a special request to go I for think extra this is meter? Like two miles, away? isn't it? It is. It's quite a way, but we have to do and everything safely, which obviously we understand, and it's just lovely because I know we've done a couple of shows with me speaking to you as a caller coming through mm -hmm. uh, with some fantastic um, demonstrations on video. Um, but I have to say, it's lovely to see you back in the studio again, uh, back where you belong, yes. I think, which is which yeah. is gorgeous. Yeah. So thank you very much, Steve, for making the effort and being part of oh, the, yeah. the first guest no back problem. with us. Um, so we've got a brand new uh, one day for you. Talk to us a little bit about what we're going to be getting uh, in this bit and, and a little bit about what the whole package is there for. Let's go. OK, so this is like um, uh, a book kit, if you like. So you get in your kit, you get two blank books and they do actually sit inside one another. They Ooh. might not do by the time you've actually decorated them all, but they do actually sit inside each other. And you can see they are, you know, good to go. Put whatever you want to on there. It doesn't have to be uh, what you get in the kit. It can be anything you like. Right. And they are from Stamperia as well, which is obviously a brand that everybody knows. So you've got that. Nice you've and solid. Yep, yeah, nice and solid. Then you've also got um, some black acrylic paint. Uh, which is in, uh, I think it's a 100 mil pot, mm -hmm. and that's good to, do, to, to actually paint your base with. And then there's two cracking um, pots. One is a primer. Now, it's not 100% uh, necessary to use the primer, but because it's a book, it's quite a good idea because it stops the actual cracking paste from oh, okay. uh, chipping off. So you put your cracking uh, primer on first and your cracking paste. You've got your two pots of that. You've also got two pots of decor um, um, paint, the soft versions. You've got your pretty. mint and your turquoise yeah, green. Yeah, they're lovely colours, aren't they? They are, and they work really well together. You've also got um, a little pot of stencil paste, uh, diamond black, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, black diamond. And you've got a stencil as well, um, an A5 stencil with, like, cogs on it. Like which that. is one of Pentart stencils, and Pentart stencils are very deep, so you get a really good um, uh, depth to your textures or whatever you want to put on. Mm. I, do, I love them, actually. That whole sort of mechanical kind of feel about the cogs on it mm. works really nice, isn't it? Really good quality stencil. So you've got that. You've also got um, a Stamperia rice paper sheet. Now, uh, the eagle-eyed people out there will have recognised that because uh, Leonie had it on her Let Loose show last week. Oh, yes. Um, so if you missed out on that, this is a really good opportunity, but it does work very well with the kit. It's nice, that. Uh, and then you also get some 3D balls. Yes. Um, which are going to add your texture. And you also get some wooden um, cogs. And you get two pots, I believe, of wax paper, wax, wax paste, rather. Um, Do you? In there? Yes. Uh, the metal ones. You've got um, a ready colour and you've got the turtle green and the, what's the other one? Fire gold. Yes. I think that's everything. That's it, I think. Plus a freebie. Yep. Free hand gel. Yep. Well, Pentart are chemists. That. <laughs> um, which is why all their products really work very, very well. So um, I imagine that in their factories they've been making some hand gel to help out in the current situation. Yeah, of course. So, well, that's uh, fantastic. That's, that's brilliant. Uh, so on top of all of that, you are also going to be getting a £20 saving, of course. Now, if you would like to split that on Flexi, then that's just two payments of £19 and £74 as well. Now, everything is going to be dispatched uh, from the 18th, 1-8, on the 18th of May that we are looking at as well. Now, already, and um, we've only just had a few minutes, only four minutes into the show, and almost 20, 2-0, 20% of the stock has already now pretty much been allocated. 
connected. So, 13 elements all in there, 0, 1, 3, 3, 6, 8, and I can tell you from holding these as well, they are really sturdy, so whatever it is you're going to be throwing at these and working with these, they're going to withstand it and take all of those elements uh, that, uh, that we're just taking you through there. 0, 1, 3, 3, 6, 8 is your first, that's your one day special. Now if you'd like to go for the expanded kit, then of course this is what we're looking at here. Um, can, Judy, can you see everything over there from here? Yes, um, this is my top tip you need this in your life Go it's on. so cool um when I, I went to budapest uh, beginning of uh, march and this is one of the products that they showed me and basically you uh, spread the um expand paste through the stencil and, you, and it is a good idea to put um a removable adhesive on the back of the stencil so it's really nicely adhered okay so spread a thin layer through the stencil onto either card or onto fabric but do not use man-made fabric which i discovered to my peril last week do not what sorry what use man-made fabric because it just burns in a minute oh, does when it? you do the next thing um, so it, yeah so um uh, a, a sort of a natural fibers and uh, spread it through and then also you can mix the pigments with a little bit of the expand it and add that on the top you leave it to dry a hundred percent dry and then you heat it right and it expands wow as it says and you get um you get like little what where, where the expand it dries clear you get like um a little white um border around the end and it puffs up i've got samples to show okay, you okay okay um, but it's a, it's a mega cool you can also stamp with it and heat it it's, a, it's such a cool product so uh, um, do you need a lot of it for it to make a big impression like you say when it's blowing up it's, it's changing um, and growing no because it's quite thin yeah, uh, it, right, it's a okay. very liquid uh, um it, it's not like a paste uh, though it's called a paste, it's a very thin, runny liquid, so you don't actually need very much. No, okay, I just opened it, I took the top off and had a quick look in there Did as well. You? And and it, and it does look um, like a very milky, yes. uh, white, runny, quite, yeah. it, move, it moves yeah. quite quickly. Yeah. Um, but uh, just as uh, was mentioned there, of course, you know, y this is one of those you want to make sure you look after yourself when you're working with it, uh, not the sort of thing, you know, you want your children playing with just to sort of get it on their hands. So make sure you just take care with that. But what a great, it sounds like a great, are you demonstrating with any of that coming up? I am. I'm going to Benny. yes during this hour it's <laughs> so cool and i did put videos up on social media so there's uh, some people have seen it already already well 10 percent yeah. already down gone yeah so that's always another tip so 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 from that did we just we mention um, the rest of the stuff in here of course obviously the stencil and you've got the pigment paste as well yeah uh, to work with 25 pounds 50 358 938 um, really nice kit there go for that yo i'll tell you what anything expands i've got my eye on it right sounds like fun Gessos. Gessos. These are my favourite gessos. They are, they're not like any ordinary gesso, they're thick. So they are a dimensional gesso. You can paint them on like a normal gesso. Oh, it's still but when you spread it through a, a stencil, you get that dimension. And you can mix your 3D balls with it from the one day special. Oh, right. Hang on. And you can, you can use like, uh, if you've got those combs that give you um, patterns, you can run those through it. It's such a cool product. I've got mine open here so I can show Have you? everybody. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll tell you, we'll, 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 when we come to yours in demo, we'll do it, but I will not be beaten by a foil tipped lid. No, um, you need, you need like a poke But obviously tool. I have been this time. I'll come yeah, back to that. Yeah, you need a pokey tool to get in it. <laughs> we'll see that with you in a second, Junior. 838. 256, you're going to get those ones, uh, 230 mil for those ones, the white and the black that you get, £15.50. So you've got £2 saving on each one of those, definitely worth taking advantage of that. 838256. Now, the liquid, we've got the metal paints. Now, how are we doing straight away on stock on this? 20% of the stock on these has already gone, Julia. Yeah, this is, um, it, it's, it's a bit of a different product uh, that I've ever come across. It's actually a solvent-based product, so you do need to be quite careful with it. Uh, use it in a, a well-ventilated room, and uh, you, if you're using brushes with it, you need um, like turps or something like that to clean your brushes. But basically, you can turn um, things like the plastic bottle into something that looks metal. It's amazing stuff. I just got the top off this one. I was beaten by no foil. No, uh, there's no foil on those. And you can <laughs> but you can sort of see already the colouring that's in there. Yeah, as well. you These need to give them a really good shake and a stir. There's normally some sediment in the bottom of them as well. So um, 
yeah right. but it is a really very cool product very it's out yeah they well proving very very popular already uh 22 pounds and 99 pence six six seven five one six seven if you'd like to go for that one five and each one of those pots are 30 mil each i'd imagine you don't need to use a lot of that to get no a lot you of don't it from. just it just sucks up into your brush you need you, in fact it's it, it's quite a learning curve because you, you always put too much on your yeah, brush. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Fantastic. That. Go for those ones while you can. Uh, OK, we've got the Technic pens uh, to work with here. Uh, we've got the Snow Crystal pen, the Ice Crystal pen. We've got the Light Modelling paste and we've got the Crackle Medium. Um, advantage of them in this style of, of sort of mechanism to work well, with? Well, it means all. that you can be very precise where you put them. So, um, so, for example, say if you're doing your Christmas cards, and there are a lot of people in lockdown are doing their Christmas cards, you can add a little bit of sparkle to very specific areas on your card right. or your project. The uh, modelling paste pen uh, means that uh, everybody knows what the uh, Pentart modelling uh, paste is like, the light uh, paste. Um, but it means that you can actually do uh, very directional, say, little um, nodules on things if you oh, want to, or draw dimensional lines. Yes. Uh, and then the cracking medium is just a very easy way to apply um, the base layer in between two layers of um, acrylic paint for a good crack. Oh, it really okay. does crack well. Right, R really good kit actually. Look at that price as well. It's only ten ninety nine. Um, so this is a fantastic one to go for. Maybe not use, but work with those um, uh, mediums before to go with that, or maybe that detail is something you think, yeah, it'd be nice to have that. Uh, certainly to come through these as your tools. Six three nine three seven five. You get your four. Each one of those a thirty mil each. Of course, ice crystal, light modelling paste, snow crystal, and of course your crackle medium. Only ten pounds and ninety nine pence. Uh, now, I know, we've got the uh, modelling paste mm -hmm. here. Now, whenever this is here, it's not here for long. This, is, this, is the, this isn't the light modelling paste. This is the modelling paste. OK. It, it's, it's, it's heavier than the light modelling paste, but you can do virtually everything the same that you can do with the light. But you, you'd notice that if we were able to actually talk to each other I and be next to each other, I could show you the difference and you could feel the difference. I see. Obviously, everybody at home can't tell something that we're juggling in our hands. No. <laughs> um, but also, with the modelling paste, you've got an enormous tub of the fibre paste 500 that, mil that's enormous and you can you can sculpt with that it's like a very fibrous paste so okay. so uh, it, when you peel your stencil away from it, you, it you've got like peaks from the fibers in it it's very cool again i've shared a video there's beat a lot I beat it i'm in julia i'm in oh well done there are lots and lots and lots of videos on the pentart youtube channel it's an invaluable education tool that so do have a look after the show if there's anything you're interested in and you're not too sure about or we don't get to demonstrate have a look at that pentart youtube channel because it's okay. very good really good okay look for price on these though that, that's a massive jar huge 500 mil for that one plus that's not just the height of what you're getting for 15 49 you're also going to be getting as you see and you heard about that of course you've got that modeling um paste to work with this one as well so you've got the fiber fiber the really big one of course in 150 as well the modeling paste uh, it's got four pounds saving on here as well 15 pounds and 49 pence and a happy presenter that got a foil top off um so the days <laughs> the days getting better already julia this is lovely uh, last but not least just so to show you here to work through a lovely little bundle here including we've actually got some little frames already here as well with a canvas. Yeah, you've got two little canvases here. This is um, a, a pouring medium kit um, and you've got the big uh, pot of the pouring medium and you've got six paints, you've got four mattes and two metallics in, in like sets of three. So you've got three greens and three pinks. Yep. So they're going to work well together. You've also got the silica, uh, silicon oil as well, which um, is meant to give you the cells that you get when you do an acrylic pour. Um, okay. It's, it's a really cool thing and the fact that you use, you've got those little tiny canvases means that you can actually do it in a small area, you know, you don't have to have the whole of your kitchen or the whole of your dining room or, you know, covered with, with uh, plastic sheeting because no. you're doing one of these. So oh, I see. it's very controllable in that size. Really nice. Lovely, lovely kit, actually, with everything you get in there. And, and a huge amount, again, for your pouring medium. That's a really, really big one, 500 bit of that as well. So you've got some really big quality 
quantity um, parts of your tools here to work with. 864914. That's 29 pounds and 99 pence. And actually this bundle has a 13 pound saving on it so I, I for those have already spotted that as a really good offer uh, do take advantage of this one of course that gets your canvases in there as well like i said to the boards the pouring medium the silicon oil and of course you've got your seven or sorted wonderful acrylic paints all of these are available on the website for you of course if you'd like to add any of these into your baskets because we will have the pleasure now of seeing our live demonstrations uh, from from julia which is great but any of those things that we've just been talking about don't forget the bundles that's where you're going to get all your big big savings uh, in any of those of course do go for those because that's where you're gonna get most of those savings the one day special by the way which is there for a whole one day a quarter of the stock has already gone very very busy um, online for those right now for that so it's only been launched in this 15 minutes ago and 25% of the stock has already gone so don't delay pick up and play once you got this uh, sent out to yourselves um, now the lovely thing is that I've been wanting to say is for quite some time now I'm gonna hand straight over to lovely Julie for a live everybody live demonstration from Julia right over there <laughs> Right now, it, what's, a bit, what's a bit strange is that I, I can't, I couldn't give you my, because um, of the rules, I can't give you my samples. So I'm going to have to just show you my samples now and see where we're aiming at. So um, this is all new to me. Um, I haven't done this sort of thing before. Is it is this camera? Yeah. Um, can I have a monitor? Is that all right? Um, yes, yeah, so, so this is what we're doing. Um, we're, I've used virtually everything that's in the one day special on here. And the only thing that I've used extra really is um, some of the gesso. And I've also used some of the liquid um, as well, the liquid metal. So, so that's where we're aiming at. But you don't just get one, you get two as well. So um, I have recorded some video demonstrations of these as well. So this was little one was my practice and the big one was my um, proper one. But I actually like my practice one better, which is always the way. <laughs> so that's where we're aiming. So we're just going to take it right the way back. And we, there will be a bit of drying time going on. And there will also be uh, a bit of... Um, you know, mixing and matching and doing some different um, products that we've got on the show. So when you get, get your books, they're, they're in the raw state, they're like this. So the first thing you need is your, um, your, your black paint. And I've actually painted the top of mine with the liquid metal. <laughs> so this is a plastic top that looked like that and has been plast uh, uh, painted with the li liquid metal. Which way are we going? That way. That way. <laughs> I'm, in a, I'm, in a, I'm in a little box above your, well, just I know your you shop. are, but it's because it, it, I haven't got a monitor next to me, I have to look right down there, see what we get. So, <laughs> so, so that was white and now it's silver. So that's a liquid right, metal, I, what it I looks like. I can see, I can keep an eye on you now. Yeah, you can, see, you, you can see, tell me off. Right, so this, <laughs> this um, black paint, I'm about uh, two thirds of the way through and I've used it on a lot of stuff. So it's going to last. You look at the coverage on this, it's just tremendous fantastic coverage you won't you don't you only need one co one uh, coat of your black paint on your base now you could use your gesso uh, if you've got um, the the what I call the special gesso you don't have to use the black paint but the black paint is in the kit is it quite quick drying it's reasonably quick drying. It depends on how thick you put it on. You can blast it, so I'm going to just blast it with um, right. my heat tool. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect because it is just a base layer. There we go. Of course, it goes on my fingers. Everything goes on my fingers. And it's a good idea, if you've got a lot of black painting to do, to actually do it all at once because it's so pigmented that you won't want to clean your brushes a lot. <laughs> it's very, very good stuff. Right, so that's our black paint. Let's just give it a blast. Yeah. There we go. Where I've been heavy handed, it just takes a little bit longer. Okay, that's nice and dry. And then we're going to apply the um, cracking paste primer. 
which you can see is, is uh, white um, in, in the tub. And you, wanna do, you don't want to do it too thickly. And this, this you need to leave to dry naturally. Which, hence, you don't want it too thick. So we're going to paint a little bit and then just leave it to dry and do something else. Just, just, uh, just out of curiosity, the difference between speeding up the drying process and allowing it to dry naturally, what, what, what do we gain? It's, they don't always crack if you speed them up. Some parts, ah. some, some, some parts of it can be, crack, can be sped up and some parts you're best off being patient. Right. Um, I mean, obviously, when I was at home, I was doing the two sort of side by side. Right. Um, so um, that kind of helps when you're not being impatient. You can open it out quite easily. I've got all sorts on the back of it, but this by the looks of it. I'm trying to be quick. Like I say, it's not 100% necessary if, if you're doing some other product, the yeah. projects, but because this book, w it, it could be like, a, I don't know, a trinket box or a treasure box or something like that that you're going to be, uh, be using quite a bit. So uh, you do want a good coverage of the primer. Okay. So that's that, and I'm going to leave that to dry. And while that's drying, we're going to look at the expand paste. Because that's really cool, <laughs> really cool. So, in fact, I won't show you what it looks like. I'm going to just do it, and then you'll see it as it goes. So, okay. I've got here just a black um, carrier bag, you know, a little shopping bag. Just it's cotton, I believe, and I've got um, like a, a mat on, in in there so that whatever I put on isn't going to go through. And I've got the stencil that's in the kit, and I have got some of the adhesive, um, uh, removable adhesive on the back, because you want it to bond really well. I've got a little bit that's sticking up. Really well with the fabric. And it's also a good idea to put some stencil tape on. In fact, we'll only do the round bit. We just do that part, we won't do the border. Because the expand paste, wherever you get it, it's going to expand. So if you go outside of your stencil, that bit's going to expand as wow. well. And so we're, we're, we're this couple, well, are we going to see this quite quick? Does it happen quite quickly or is it...? You, you're uh, so impatient! I well. Just wait! You won't, Sorry, get, just the, saying, you won't you know. get the coolness if you don't wait. <laughs> it's so cool. It really is. So that's all the prep. It's part of the prep anyway. So, sorry, I'm running out of space here. Let's just put that down there out of the way. I need to be able to mix some things as well. Right, so we want the expand paste. and our pigments. So we're using everything that you get in the kit, we are using, okay? And this one, this one I've been using quite a bit. I've been learning with it and I've also been um, doing the samples with it and it's nearly at the bottom. So, you know, it's lasted well, but it's nearly on its last legs. <laughs> it's had a good stint. Yeah. So we want a bit just on our mat. We don't need much. And this is where we're going to get the colours from. So we've got three little tiny little dots. Hopefully that you can see that on the overhead. Yeah, good. And then we're going to add some of our pigment paste. Now we've had pigment paste on before, but we've had the trans transparent ones. These are opaque. So if you if you're using say um, the Pentart, sorry, get this going. The heavy body gel, uh, the gloss and the matte, uh, well, particularly the gloss, which dries clear, you won't want to use this particular pigment unless you want it to go opaque. You want to use this with 
uh, so your fibre paste, it's, it works really well with the fibre paste and also you can use it with the modelling paste as well because they're not um, opaque. So you can see how rich they are, that's very, very vibrant. A little bit of the yellow and we're mixing the red, so that's all ready. So do this before you do, before you actually apply the paste onto your project. Now hopefully we've got enough in here, but I have got another one. So you just spread it through your stencil. Try not to go under your stencil, which is why we stick it down with the um, adhesive. And this will dry clear when it dries. It's been really frugal in. I'm, I'm going to make sure I use every last drop of this. It's so cool. I remember when they showed me this, I thought it was brilliant. Come on, last bit. Okay. Make sure you're not a nice thin layer. <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like Marmite. I'm not, I'm not a Marmite person. Wow, you love or hate it, but anything like that. If there's anything you like in a jar, you've got to get the last bit out, haven't you? You have, absolutely. So now you take your coloured um, pigment. Wow, that's a, such a strong colour. It is, yeah, really strong. Take, take some of that, then we add some of the yellow. And you can leave some areas um, clear because they're going to be white. I know it's, it's the wrong way around. Normal. Ah! I get it everywhere. Um, normally, you, you'd expect things that are white to dry clear, but these are clear and it's going to be white. Okay, stop. Walk away from it, Julia. Right. And now you then remove this and you just put it aside and you leave it to dry. You cannot... See, I've got some there. Every single time I get some where I shouldn't. Um... Every, uh, so, yeah, you cannot, cannot speed this up because the whole point of doing this is that you expand it when it's dry. So you cannot expand it when it's wet. Okay? So I have, I have gone under the stencil and that's not... This isn't the wow shot yet. So that needs to dry. Put that on the floor. So this is one that I've dried earlier. Let's try and move that out of the way now. And we need our heat tool. Let's take a powerful one. Are you ready for this? This oh is yeah. so cool. At my age, I'm happy with anything, to be honest. So cool, so cool. Right, ready? Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. It's off. Can you see it expanding? Oh, there we and, go. And that white, white thing around the edge. Now, I remember it, those days. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allowed to say that? Yes. <laughs> so, if you do this on card, the, because of the nature of the card, it doesn't puff up quite so much. You still get, it still does do a bit of it. That's and brilliant. You, st you still do get the kind of white border around the edges. Yeah. But it's not, I mean, and when you touch it, you can feel it's raised, it's all puffy. That's and brilliant. If we turn this inside out, once, it, once it's, it's finished, you can actually wash it at 40 degrees. Wow. Look at that. Isn't it cool? That is very, that was a, that was a wow factor worth waiting for. I know, I know. Was I a bit long-winded? No, no, tell you what. As long as the results come out at the end, people are happy to wait. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's my mantra. That's great. The colours are lovely with it. Yeah, so where you leave white, you've, st you've got, still got something. So, so don't worry about the fact that you haven't got any colour there because uh, the clear becomes white. But here, where I've made a mistake and gone over the edge, that's going to puff up as well, you see. That's why you don't want it to... Um, you want a good amount of uh, tape around the edge. So if you wanted to bring out just little elements of anything, either in card or anything that you're working on, just to, maybe it's the crest of a wave, it would just give that a different element on top of that. Great for those kind of just bringing that to life. Yeah, you could, you could on your, your uh, book, you could just um, 
kind of use the a spatula and just kind of dab a little bit on and leave that to dry and then puff that up and then that's going to give you dimension on your projects. That's lovely. It's really cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I thought I missed a bit. That's the problem, knowing where you've been and where you haven't. But, you know, if, if you were next to me, you'd be able to now put your hands over it. And it Don't is, you be teasing me now. It, it, I know. <laughs> it's, so, it, it's, it's so, so cool. That, oh, oh, honestly, Julie, that is such a lovely demonstration for that. That is fantastic. Thank you very much indeed. I, I love that. Um, we're going to just let some people, while well, we, well, we reset. Yeah. Uh, is that OK? That's yeah, just yeah, 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 yeah. Julie, yeah. that is fantastic. Um, please make sure you check out. I'm just trying to give us an update on that. Are we your 25%? 20%? 20% now, um, we, are, we are talking about that. I love that stencil, by the way. That is gorgeous. Beautiful, isn't it? Really lovely, that stencil on that one. Oh, right, so we are, um, we are flying through, by the way. We're absolutely flying through. Um, just so excited to see something expand like that. Like I say, it's, it's been a while. So, uh, 013, if you'd like to go for... Uh, 013368, uh, proving very, very popular. And, of course, as you can see, if you are working... Uh, with, of course, the wonderful books. Uh, don't forget, does one does fit inside the other. So you've got a really, really good, strong, sturdy uh, books to be working with here. So all your materials, whatever you're working on, you know, that will really take a lot of battering. So when you are doing all your wonderful work on that, of course, you are going to be uh, getting a really lovely finish on that. A quarter of the stock of this, by the way, has gone. I'm not surprised. So you get the two books, of course. So you've got to talk about all the elements that are in here. You've got the actual 3D cogs that are in there as well, which are echoed from the actual stencil. It's a good thick stencil again that's been made here. So again, for all those different pastes to work with, lovely mechanics and uh, gorgeous look and that, all those working together. You've also got for extra texture to work with, you've got your jar of your 3D balls, of course, you can incorporate that. I think we've got some uh, with the demos uh, or some certainly some samples that Julie's got to show you those. Uh, the gorgeous uh, paints as well. So you've got the sort of softer and you've also got that lovely turquoise going through. We've got the uh, acrylic paints as well. So these are your, pats, uh, your mats that you've got here. And you've also got, of course, the wonderful crackling paste. And you've also got the primer for that to work with as well, from beforehand to work with. Then, of course, you've also got those wonderful pastes to go through um, that will work very, very nicely. Plus, on top of all of that, if that's not enough, you're also getting the beautiful rice paper as well that would work and you're going to get a sheet of that which is all about detail and absolutely gorgeous so that is there and again uh, as was mentioned you may have seen the only working with that earlier uh, last week uh, with one of those that was of course available on one of the other kits uh, so all that is there for you for 39 pounds 47 so it's got a 20 pound saving plus because again um, uh, the business of course over the other side um, that do this we're also chucking in there chucking in an extra little um, hand gel as well because I think that's what they've been working on uh, while it's been needed to be able so that next little jar put that in as a bit of a bonus for you uh, is available on flexi if you'd like to take advantage of this on your flexi that's just two payments of 19 pounds and 74 pence uh dispatch for this is from the 18th 18 18th of may um because of where it is coming from 013368 and we are talking about a quarter of the stock already allocated very 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 busy now, speaking of busy, uh, I tell you one thing has expanded uh, in the studio uh, is the um, actual stock of this has flown out. Now 30% of the stock has already gone just by seeing something expand like that. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? But it has shown you uh, that exactly how fantastic this is. And remember, Julie was saying that was used on a black cotton bag. If you turn it inside out, you can even machine wash that up to 40 degrees. So it's a fantastic element for your materials if you're working with that or anything else, of course. We're absolutely brilliant. Uh, be careful when you're using it, of course. It is one of those uh, you don't want to sort of just leave lying around and get onto your skin because, it, as you see, what it can do is amazing. Uh, the beautiful stencil. You've got the main part of the stencil of course there and then you've got that beautiful border part that you can continue to use plus you've also got then your wonderful pigment paste you get blue red you got yellow and you got black in there and i can say that they are i'm hoping you saw that on the monitor um because the the color was in 
absolutely incredible. As soon as that was added in, just a little amount, if you notice from you, just a little amount. When it was put into the white as well, did you notice when it was put into that? Um, you know, it looked like a little, uh, the yellow one, looked like a little egg, didn't it? A little, a little bright yellow egg all the way to there. Um, not as they come out when I do my brekkies, but there we go. Anyway, this 30% of the stock's already gone. £25.50, 358. 938. Absolutely brilliant. Right, there's plenty more, of course, it's all on the website for you to add those in. Loads of really big jars uh, and some fantastic tools for you. But uh, while well, Julia's here, I think it's only fair that we see another demonstration. How are you going to top the last one, Julia? I don't know. I'll, I'll do my best. Yeah, of course you I'll do course my best. So um, we're pretty much dry now. Um, it's a bit tacky. This is the primer that's on the black paint. It's a bit tacky, but uh, I think we're good to go. So the next stage, the next layer, is your cracking paste. And um, so this is thicker than... Um, it is a paste rather than um, a paint. And so you can pop this on with your spatula. And you can you can get you can get it. I, I remember that when I went over there, George, who's the owner, he he um, he was telling me that when you apply it, if you kind of put I don't know uh, if you if you do shapes, so you don't all go one way, the cracks will follow whatever uh, orientation that you've you've put the the paste on with. What did I throw on the floor? That's all right. So we're going to put a good good size layer here and then we'll crack it and this one is heat activated and I discovered it is a good idea to not have any black showing if you can help it right. I'm getting rid of my I want some movement there we go that'll do right so grab my heat tool go back to the wear one and then we should see it crack. Hopefully. It worked at home, so let's hope. And it's starting to go. Obviously, where it's thicker, it's going to take longer. And it will, after you've, um, after you've done it, you will find that it will still continue to crack. Because if it's quite thick, then it will, um, it, you know, it'll take a while to, to, to the bottom layer to dry. But you see, we've got really fine hairline cracks just there. And when it's thinner, and a massive crack there because it's quite thick there. Cracking's uh, all the cracking mediums are really cool. The, I must. Uh, I don't know if I'll get a chance today, probably tomorrow I'll show you the, um, the one in the, the, the Technique pen kit because it is, a, it is different, totally different to this because this can, you can put really thick layers in it. Look at that crack there, that's fantastic. And you've got like hairline cracks here. Just be careful because if you see it bubbling up, then just, just move to another area. That's, I mean, that is just, the, the, all the, the layers are totally different there. So we put some, we carry on and put some on the spine as well. Because you can. Flick it around the place. I won't do the back, I'll just do the spine. And then we do something else with it. So just make sh try and make sure that because the black is so intense, you want the black is where you want the cracks to show, but you don't want a, a huge area of black showing. And I did discover that you don't want it too thick on the actual um, kind of I don't know the foldy bit there. I don't know what they call it um, because that is the uh, most vulnerable area, I suppose. So now we heat this and we get a, a cracking spine. It started to go. 
and it's all about to I'm learning this this is all really new to me I've never made anything like this before um, but when you've got really good products then you know it kind of it does the job for you look at that cool cracking that's tremendous isn't it look at that that's a really old book I could do the back as well but I'm not going to I will do the back but I'll do the back tomorrow right so that's that let's get rid of that so now, now we're going to work on the front seems to be quite dry hopefully and we're going to bring in the two decor paints and you've got mint green and you've got turquoise blue in the kit and these are they're not like any other acrylic paint they don't quite react the same as as normal acrylic paint just feeling that it's actually dry enough i think it is <coughs> we'll soon find out won't we and we're going to brush them on but we're going to take it off it, it doesn't dry very quickly which is good so we're going to brush them on flick it over me And then we're going to rub it off. Ah, it's not dry properly. Right, I'm not going to carry on with this right now. We're going to show you something else because it's too wet there. That'll be all right because we'll, we'll, we'll bring that back. We'll do something else with it tomorrow. Pardon? For those, just with, with some of these products then, is ventilation quite crucial when using some of the products because of you know the, the top you know the sort of the smell sometimes of what they have with them it's only the solvent based products the solvent ones, okay. so it's it's for, it's only the liquid metal on this particular show right okay okay yeah yeah so i'm going i'm not going to carry on with that because where i've got it quite thick it's not dry yet so um i mean we can cut we'll be able to cover it up we'll be able to bring it back but i'd like to show you something else instead okay. if that's all right okay let's put the lids on I don't want to spoil it. Right, so we've also got on the show some the liquid pour kits. And I've what are had you up to now, Julia? Pardon? What are you up to now? The, the, pour, the pouring medium, the pour it kit. Ooh. Give it a pour kit. I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Give it a pour? Yeah. Something like that. So the I've, the I've done there. four because I've got extra little canvases oh. so I could actually practice. And I've only got um, jars. <laughs> I haven't got what I should have, but I'm, I'm, you know, you make do, don't you? It's like, almost like wartime must have been like. You make do with what you've got. So, we need a plastic bag. That's all you need to go underneath. How are we doing for time? Okay. And then we need one of our canvases, which we're just going to sit on here. And then we need some pouring medium. And I need three pots. So I'm reusing my pots again and again. I need four pots, actually. And we just need some pouring medium on each of the pots. Now, ideally, you'd have a little tiny pot like that, a little plastic pot, and that's all you'd need. But I haven't got them. So there's probably enough for two pours in this slot. And we're going to go with some... You've got white paint in the kit as yeah. well. We're going to have some white paint. And the pouring medium, what it does is it, it um, um, thins down your paint. And we go for the, the pink set, I think. And we want a little bit of that in there. This again is new to me. I've never done acrylic pour before. Made a mess there. And then the pink, there's another pale of pink. You can also use the pigment paste in, in them as well. And then we're going to also use the, there's, a, there's two metallics. The metallics are absolutely delicious. 
Look at that. You see that on the overhead? Isn't that beautiful? Really lovely. So that's going in that one. Oh, too much of that. And then, ideally, if you're dealing with a tiny little pot, you'd have a tiny little stick to stir it. I've got a little stick and a big pot. <laughs> I had to eat a lolly. I, ha I had to eat a lolly in order to even be able to do this. Oh, I just don't have the right stuff at home for this. I'm sure, sure lots of people that do this sort of thing all the time will know what they're doing. So you want to give it a good mix. So it's all mixed together. It's ten times harder to mix it in something this size. It really is. It, yeah, I bet it is. It yeah. flicks all over the place. <laughs> I had to decide what to wear because I knew I was going to flick things all over it. And I thought if I went to something with a pattern, then the pattern would just look like it was meant to be. Then this beautiful metallic. <laughs> beautiful so give that a mix then you've also got some silicon oil now I haven't managed to get what they call the cells showing um, up as, as, as I think they should and if you watch the video the pentart video they use one of those blowtorch things that um, you have in um, you know in cooking yeah. that sort of thing but I haven't got it oh. so so I'm just I'm going to actually put a little bit of the silicon oil in because you're meant to. Not that it, I can get it to work, but and then you d when you and you just move it around a little bit. You don't mix it in. You just move it around a little bit. Again, using the same stick. And then we do the pour. This is the fun bit. Right. So we're going to start with some white and just you can again have a little pot and put lots of different colours on and turn it over and do it that way. I can't do that because I haven't got the right equipment. <laughs> so I have to do it my way. So this is another way. So just put some paint on and put all the other colours on as well, except for the metallic. So drizzle just a little pattern and then the lighter colour. And then you move it around and they start to merge. I'm sure you guys have seen this before, but you can't, I don't think you can really go wrong with it. You can get very messy, but I don't mind that. And you, you can start to see different shapes coming and um, you can add a little bit more if it's not moving properly. can use your fingers to kind of make it go around the sides. Yeah, does it, 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 you know, yeah, it does. Even though I don't know what that. I'm doing, it, it does look good. And we can add some of the metallic as well. I should do that with jam and custard. <laughs> Let's have a little bit more white because I put a lot in there. Oh. The metallics are beautiful. It is very funky, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And what's what's quite cool actually is if if, if you're collecting it in, in a jar like here, you can actually use the dregs as well. I don't know if the dregs will come out actually. There's not many dregs. There's not many dregs in there. Of course there isn't. Um, <laughs> but you can use the dregs, and the dregs themselves create a really cool pattern as well. Mm. I mean that's that that's pretty much covered now. Just drag it around the edge there. And then just l you just leave it on a, on a jar to dry. But can you see how this, that's sparkling there? And if yeah. you're not happy with it, see, I've, I've just dripped a little bit there, actually, off my finger. That's quite cool, isn't it? So, yes, in fact, I just have another drip there. Like <laughs> that? Yeah, add a little drip with your finger. So, yeah, so you can just play with it. And that's, so that's the acrylic pour kit. Like that? The, the just on the, on the pouring, very quickly on that... The dry, would that like, uh, take longer in the drying of that? Just because, or is it still drying quite quickly? It, the does, dry, it does take quite a while to dry. Does it takes it? Okay. several hours to dry, yes. Yeah, so so um, I just have a load of jars around the place and, and yeah. have them drying. But, um, yeah, you can see that they, they dry beautifully when yeah. they do dry. And if you're not happy with it, 
there's nothing stopping you creating another pour and going over the top and just obliterating what you've oh, got okay. if you don't like it. Right, so you've got a little bit of movement on there, so you've got a, there's an escape out if needed. Yeah, no, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think it's, it's beautiful, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. All over there. Uh, don't forget, of course, um, we've got uh, some deals on Flexi. And don't forget, if you are spending 60, 60, 60 pound or more, then you can, of course, spread the cost, of course, across on your Flexi. So um, to give a bit more details about that, have a quick look at this. Flexi order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. You might as well get a flexi order because your presenters aren't that flexi. I tell you, I just I mean, I'd do a lace up a second ago and uh, nearly get back up again. Uh, anyway, so there you are. Flexi orders available for you if that helps you spread the cost, which is nice and easy. Now, the one day special, of course, it's launched right now. I love you, Julia, with the demonstrations for you. And we're now at 30, 30 percent of the stock now has already been allocated and proven very, very popular. And I would imagine this because you get so many wonderful elements in here. And of course, another one, we are on Flexi on here for you as well. Uh, but there's so many wonderful elements, uh, elements, not elephants, elements in here. I don't think there's any, is there any elephants in the studio? We're just the one, we're okay, but keep it its distance, so we're okay. Um, so 39.47 for everything you get. Don't forget, you've got these wonderful books to work with. Now you get the two of the books, one of them will fit inside of the other, and these are really sturdy. So they will take pretty much any of your materials that you are going to throw at them and they will work really really nicely of course really lovely projects to work with and you can see how they can take a lot of the ingredients that has all been thrown at them earlier on from Julia's demonstrations for you see so you get the two of the books but in fact you're getting 13 elements all included in here so just to take you through you're you're going to be getting if you're looking for your 3d elements you've got your wonderful cogs there the MDF cogs that would work with so you're going to be getting all of those that are there for you to work with on top of these plus if we go down now oh here by the way that is uh, you're going to be getting a free little uh, thrown in there of little alcohol hand sanitizer um, so that's there for you um, but that's a bonus on top of that, so I'm going to put that to one side. You are getting your 3D balls. I'll tell you what, there's so many comments I could have got away with saying in this hour between all sorts of things that have been demonstrated, expanding, and now we've got these. Uh, it's, it's, an, it's a minefield, everybody. So there are your 3D balls that you have. Uh, you've got your two beautiful colour paints, one of my favourites with your lovely turquoise. You've got your soft of your blues that will work with this as well. That is gorgeous. Then, of course, you've got your, um, the acrylic paint coming through with the black uh, to give it all of that finish off, and you've seen that working uh, with Julie in the demos. Then on to the magic. Now, of course, you've got the primer for the crackling, uh, cracking paste, and you've also got the actual cracking paste itself. And again, you saw the benefits of you, you when you're using the primer again, you are going to get a much better effect with everything you're going to be seeing here. And I'll leave that to dry naturally again, as we're hearing, and you get a fantastic, crack. honestly, looks like my face in the morning before I moisturized that by the time it had finished. So uh, that'll give you an idea of the work that goes on behind the scene with polyfiller. Um, other other brands are available then of course you've got your beautiful stencil paste in here and your wax paste so your metallics that you can see there and of course you've got that really dramatic uh, stencil paste on top of that two more elements to go in here as if that wasn't enough you're going to get a beautiful fantastic with the cogs of the stencils and again nicely if i just tilt that round again you can see the thickness of what we're getting here with that stencil and i love those all those elements of the mechanics going through of the clock face as well on some of those elements so that would be a, another one that i'm sure you're going to get a lot of use from and last but not least you've got the beautiful rice paper and these are absolutely beautiful that mechanical feel but you've got the 
fish, you've got the starfish that's in there, the compass that works with this, and you've even got like the old diver's suits as well, all the elements as well. Um, so absolutely fantastic kit. 013368 is your one day special. Uh, you've got your two payments of 1974, so that hopefully spreads the cost for you. But it's a brilliant saving on your one day special of 20 pounds. And as I leave you in this moment, we are looking at 30, three zero as I said, 30% of the stock already gone. Now we have got another live show dealing with the one day special at eight o'clock, but lovely Julia, you won't be with me for the eight o'clock show, will you? No, I've recorded some demonstrations for you. So we've got our lovely videos to watch, yeah. but you're, are you back in tomorrow? I am, yes, at eight, 12 and four. 8, 12 and 4 tomorrow. Yeah. Um, just, um, uh, just, I want to say thank you. It's lovely to see you again. Uh, I won't be in tomorrow, but I hope to see you again very, very soon. But thank yeah. you for your demonstrations thank today, you, Julia. Scott. Lovely to see you where you're back. And thank you as well for your company. Don't go anywhere. We've got more deals after this. See you in a minute.